Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all are doing well. Students, I have some pictures to show you and I want you all to name the animals shown in the pictures. Are you ready? Okay, now look at this picture. Have you ever seen this animal? Hmm, yes, this is the picture of mongoose. Now, let's move on to the next picture. So, what is the name of this animal? Yes, this is the picture of snake. Students, you have read in lesson 9 that a mongoose can fight with and kill a snake. Now, let us look at the pictures and read the lines given along with them. The fight of the cobra and the mongoose is a classic drama often seen in India and the outcome is largely the same. The mongoose is not immune to the venomous bite but is faster and quicker in motion than the snake. The cobra assumes a posture of defense and attempts to reach the animal by a sweeping strike. But the quick moving mongoose jumps out of reach and comes at the snake from another direction before the snake can get into striking position again. This constant movement tires and discourages the snake and the mongoose is finally able to leap in close and bury its teeth in the snake's neck, usually severing the joints of its vertebrae. Students, now let us read a story from our NCERT textbook, Honeysuckle, Chapter 10, The Banyan Tree. In this story, we are going to see what the author saw as a young boy when he was sitting in an old banyan tree in his grandfather's house. Also, author narrates an incident of a fight between a mongoose and a cobra. Though the house and grounds belonged to my grandparents, the magnificent old banyan tree was mine, chiefly because grandfather at 65 could no longer climb it. Here the author was at his grandparents house and he claimed that the banyan tree belonged to him. Though the house owner were his grandparents. He said so because his grandfather was 65 years old and was unable to climb the tree. Its spreading branches which hung to the ground and took root again forming a number of twisting passages gave me endless pleasure. Among them were squirrels and snails and butterflies. The tree was older than the house, older than grandfather, as old as Dehradun itself. I could hide myself in its branches behind thick green leaves and spy on the world below. 
students here comes a word spy which means secret agent so the author felt very happy and joyful to see the opened out branches of the tree which used to hang from the tree in bunches to the ground these roots had formed loops various animals like squirrels snails and butterflies were living in the turns of those loops the tree was very old older than the house and grandfather it was as old as the city dehradun my first friend was a small gray squirrel arching his back and sniffing into the air he seemed at first to resent my invasion of his privacy but when he found that i did not arm myself with catapult or air gun he became friendly and when i started bringing him pieces of cake and biscuit he grew quite bold and was soon taking morsels from hand students here comes a word invasion what is the meaning of invasion invasion means invading a country or region with an armed force and one more word catapult which means a forked stick with an elastic band fastened to the two prongs and one more word morsels what is the meaning of morsels morsels means small bits of food so first of all the author became friends with a small squirrel he arched his back and smelt into the air in the beginning he did not like the author's invasion into his privacy but when realized that the author was not armed with anything to offend him he became friendly soon the author started bringing him tidbits of food like cakes and biscuits the squirrel started eating small morsels from his hands before long he was delving into my pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find he was a very young squirrel and his friends and relatives probably thought him foolish and headstrong for trusting a human so very soon the squirrel started digging into the author's pockets for whatever he could find he was a young squirrel and his skin must have thought him to be a fool for trusting a human in the spring when the banyan tree was full of small red figs birds of all kinds would flock into the branches the red bottomed bulbul cheerful and greedy parrots mena and crows squabbling with one another during the fig season the banyan tree was the noisiest place in the garden here comes a word squabbling what is the meaning of squabbling squabbling means fighting over small things so in the spring season the banyan tree used to be in full bloom it used to be full of small red figs 
red figs are a kind of fruit different birds like bulbul parrots mana and crows used to fight with each other over small things their voices together used to make the place noisy in the garden during fig season halfway up the tree i had built a crude platform where i would spend the afternoons when it was not too hot i could read there propping myself up against the tree with a cushion from the living room treasure island huckleberry finn and the story of dr dolittle were some of the books that made up my banyan tree library students here comes a word crude what is the meaning of crude crude means primitive or raw so on the tree the author had made a platform of primitive style in the afternoon when it was not very hot he used to spend his time here he had put a cushion there which he had picked from the drawing room and was able to read at this place while leaning against a tree he had set up a small tree library and the books that he read there were treasure island huckleberry finn and the story of dr dolittle when i did not feel like reading i could look down through the leaves at the world below and on one particular afternoon i had a grand stand view of the classic of the indian wilds a fight between a mongoose and a cobra here comes a phrase grand stand view what is the meaning of grand stand view it means a clear view from the best position the warm breeze of approaching summer had sent everyone including the gardener into the house i was feeling drowsy myself wondering if i should go to the pond and have a swim with ramu and the buffaloes when i saw a huge black cobra gliding out of a clump of cactus at the same time a mongoose emerged from the bushes and went straight for the cobra students here comes a word gliding what is the meaning of gliding so because of the hot summer everyone was inside the house the author was also feeling sleepy and lazy rather he was deciding to visit the pond to swim with ramu and the buffaloes when he noticed a cobra coming out of a clump of cactus and mongoose from the bushes the mongoose came out of the bushes and went straight to the cobra in a clearing beneath the banyan tree in bright sunshine they came face to face the cobra knew only too well that the gray mongoose 3 feet long was a superb fighter clever and aggressive but the cobra too was 
a skillful and experienced fighter he could move swiftly and strike with the speed of light and the sex between his long sharp fangs were full of deadly poison it was to be a battle of champions so students here comes a word fangs what is the meaning of fangs fangs means long sharp teeth of a snake or dog so both the cobra and the mongoose came before each other under the banyan tree the cobra was well aware that the mongoose had superb fighting skills but he himself was also an experienced fighter and had deadly poisonous long sharp teeth thus it was a battle between two champs hissing defiance his forked tongue darting in and out the cobra raised three of his six feet off the ground and spread his broad spectacled hood so students here comes a word defiance what is the meaning of defiance defiance mean rebellion or resistance the mongoose bushed his tail the long hair on his spine stood up so creating a hissing sound in defense moving his tongue quickly in and out the cobra raised itself from the ground and spread his hood to fight and attack the mongoose also showed his readiness to fight by brushing his tail and raising his hair though the combatants were unaware of my presence in the tree they were soon made aware of the arrival of two other spectators one was a mana the other was a jungle crow so students here comes a word combatants what is the meaning of combatants combatants means participants in a fight and another word spectators what is the meaning of spectators those who watch a show game etc they had seen these preparation for battle and had settled on the cactus to watch the outcome had they been content only to watch all would have been well with both of them again here comes word outcome what is the meaning of outcome outcome means result so students what happens next the participants in the fight were not aware of the author's presence in the tree but two spectators a mana and a crow were noticing clearly they witnessed everything and were settled on the cactus to watch the result but they were not satisfied with just watching rather they participated in the fight the cobra stood on the defensive swaying slowly from side to side trying to mesmerize the mongoose into making a false move but the mongoose knew the power of his opponent's glassy unwinking eyes and refused to meet them instead he fixed his gaze at a point just below the cobra's hood and opened the attack so the cobra was trying 
to spell bind the mongoose with his movements. But the mongoose was well aware of the power of his opponents. So he fixed his focus on attacking the cobra at a point just below the cobra's hood and started the attack, moving forward quickly until he was just within the cobra's reach, the mongoose made a pretended move to one side. Immediately the cobra struck. His great hood came down so swiftly that I thought nothing could save the mongoose. But the little fellow jumped neatly to one side and darted in as swiftly as a cobra. Biting the snake on the back and darting away again out of reach. So, what happened next? The mongoose made Paul's quick movements very close to the cobra. The cobra attacked and moved its hood down so quickly that it seemed the mongoose would not be saved. But this small creature was quick to jump and move on one side. It also bit the snake on its back and again moved away out of its reach. At the same moment that the cobra struck, the crow and the mana hurled themselves at him, only to collide heavily in mid-air. Shrieking insults at each other, they returned to the cactus plant, a few drops of blood glistened on the cobra's back. So here comes a word collide. What is the meaning of collide? Collide means come into conflict. Now the moment the cobra attacked the crow and mana threw themselves at him to come into conflict. After making loud short noises of attack, they came back to the cactus plant. Drops of blood were shining on the cobra's back. The cobra struck and missed. Again, the mongoose sprang aside, jumped in and bit. Again, the birds dived at the snake, bumped into each other instead and returned shrieking to the safety of the cactus. So, the cobra attacked but missed it. The mongoose again jumped aside. The birds again tried to attack the cobra but were collided with each other. So, they came back to the cactus crying. The third round followed the same course as the first, but with one dramatic difference. The crow and the mana still determined to take part in the proceedings, died at the cobra, but this time they missed each other as well as their mark. The mana flew on and reached its perch. But the crow tried to pull up in mid-air and turn back. In the second that it took the bird to do this, the cobra whipped his head back and struck with great force. His snout thudding against the crow's body. Students, here comes a word perch. What is the meaning of perch? Perch means repose or settle. Another word is snout. What is the meaning of snout? Snout means 
the nose and mouth of an animal. Third time again, the birds tried to attack the cobra in the same manner. But this time, there was a change. They didn't collide with each other. The manna flew back to its shelter, but the crow tried to continue the fight in the air and came back. In the second trial, the cobra also moved suddenly and attacked the crow with full force. I saw the bird flung nearly 20 feet across the garden. It fluttered about for a while, then lay still. The manna remained on the cactus plant and when the snake and the mongoose returned to fight, very wisely decided not to interfere again. The cobra was weakening and the mongoose walking fearlessly up to it raised himself on his short legs and with a lightning snap had the big snake by the snout. The cobra wreathed and lashed about in a frightening manner and even coiled himself about the mongoose. But to no avail, the little fellow hung grimly on until the snake had ceased to struggle. He then smelt along its quivering length gripped it round the hood and dragged it into the bushes. So student, what happened next? The author noticed the bird falling 20 feet away. It kept shaking its body for some time but then it became still and died. The manna was on the cactus plant and she didn't interfere in the fight after this. The cobra was weakened and defeated. The mongoose attacked fearlessly. It exhausted the cobra with its shrewd and fast attack moves and finally killed it. It caught the cobra from its hood and dragging it pushed it into the bushes. The manna dropped cautiously to the ground, hopped about, peered into the bushes from a safe distance and then with a shrill cry of congratulation flew away. So what happens? The manna fell down to the ground and hopping about she reached the bushes giving a congratulatory high pitched sound she flew away. Students as we know the word round usually means a kind of shape but its meaning in the story was the sequence of events of fight between cobra and mongoose. Similarly now, I am going to show you a small paragraph and you have to find five words which are generally associated with trees. But here they have been used differently. Hari leaves for work at 9 every morning. He works in the local branch of the firm of which his uncle is the owner. Hari's success is really the fruit of his own labor. He is happy but he has a small problem. The root cause of his problem is a stray dog near his office. The dog welcomes Hari with a loud bark every day. Now students, find out the words which are generally 
associated with trees. So, the correct answers are leaf, branch, fruit, root and bark. Now, I want you all to write the correct answers of the following questions at your home. What did the cobra and the mongoose do to show their readiness for the fight? Question number two is what happened to the crow in the end? And question three is what did the manna do finally? Students, I hope you all enjoyed our today's story and the activity. So, we will meet you all soon in the next class with some another activities and interesting stories. Till then, bye bye.